In this video, I will be showing you how to add a web page to your dashboard and different ways that you can run the action. So to begin with, we're going to open up our dashboard and once we have it opened up at the bottom left corner, there's going to be this objects menu. Then this objects menu, you're going to see web page. So we're going to hold down on web page, you're going to drag it onto your dashboard. If you hover it around, it's going to show you different places that you can place it down. It really depends on where you think it would fit best. So in my case, I'm just going to put it to the right of the graphs that I've already included. So then it's going to pop up this edit URL option. I'm just going to hit OK without entering anything just because I'm going to show you the actions on how to, uh, different ways that you can bring up the URL. So I'll just hit OK. And once you hit OK, it's going to bring up this blank page next to your graphs. And in my case, I'm going to add this link to Gallup on how to measure employee engagement with Q12 because this graph down here is the average responses to the Q12 questions of Washington State employees from the data that I used. So we're just going to go up to the top menus and we're just going to hit dashboard and we're going to hit actions. So once you hit actions, this little actions menu is going to pop up. We have no actions right now, but we're going to add one. So we're just going to go down here to add actions and you're going to go to the third option, which is go to URL. So once we hit go to URL, this little menu is going to pop up and the first thing it's going to ask us is what we would like to title it. So we're just going to title ours Q12 Gallup and we're going to move down to source sheets and this is just where the action what sheets the action will run on so in my case we're just gonna deselect sheet one because sheet four is the one associated with the q12 questions so next to that is going to be the run action on setting and for the first one we're just going to do menu below that is going to be the url target so this is just in case your url does not work the first very bottom one is web page object it'll just take you directly to the main page of the website that you're trying to access the second one is new browser tab it's just going to open a new browser tab if the web page doesn't work and the last one's going to be new tab if no page object exists so at the bottom we're just going to add a url i've already copied mine so i'm just going to paste it onto there and once you've pasted it it's going to show you an option to test out the url if you click on it it's going to open the url that you pasted once we fill we filled all this out we're just going to hit ok and now the action is going to pop up under our actions menu and we're just going to hit ok so since we selected menu we're just going to go to the data that we wanted to associate it with so we're just going to go to the little circle and we'll just hover over it and this little menu is going to pop up and at the bottom is going to be the name that we put on our URL. And so when you're ready, you just click on it and the website will pop up on that little blank space that you had earlier to make the website accessible while you are in the dashboard. So now we will be testing out the second action that you can run on a URL. So we're just going to do this and we're going to go to the top left to the dashboard option. We're just going to go down to actions and then that action that we made before is going to be there. So we're not going to add an action. We're just going to change the action that we've already created. So we're just going to click on it and we're going to hit edit. So once we hit edit, that original edit URL action menu is going to pop up again and we're going to leave everything the same except for the run action on. This time we're going to change it to select. So once we've changed the run on action we're just going to hit ok and then we're going to see that under run on it's going to say select now so then we're going to hit ok again and now um the website will pop up if we select the data so we just hit the little bubble and the website pops up once again in the dashboard okay our last action that we will run with this url is going to be the hover so we're just going to do the same again we're going to go to dashboard actions and it opens up the action we'll just edit the action and again we're going to leave everything in the menu the same except for the run act run action on this time we're just going to change it to hover so once we've selected hover we're going to hit ok and then we're going to see that the run on has changed to hover and we're going to hit ok again and now for hover once you hover over the data it's going to pop up the web page so if we just hover over these the web page will appear right on the dashboard like before those were the three ways to run an action using a web page on Tableau. Thank you for watching.